Ira Epstein with your morning flash update. And this update is for the morning of Monday. We're at the 16th of September, 2024, and the time about 8.25 a.m. Central Time. Well, stock market mixed bag. You've got the S&P and the NASDAQ down, but you have the Dow up and the Russell up. In the gold market, pretty close to unchanged. You had a bump this morning coming into copper and it got an accelerated bump when we saw the New York Empire State manufacturing numbers. In fact, now that I said that, let's go to them. And as you could see, the market was looking for a negative 4.7. It got an 11.5. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's the highest number since April of 2022, 2022. Uh, the M index uh, improved. When we look at the new water index, shot up dramatically from a negative 7.9 to a positive 7.4. You stayed down just a little bit in prices received. When you look at prices paid, 23.2, about unchanged there. The inventory index is now back to zero. It had been declining all the way through. And we're seeing that the shipment index soared. The, this is not a fluke. These numbers aren't miscalculated. There's too much within the other parts to be positive, And I think you got to pay attention to that and just say to yourself, OK, this doesn't look so bad. Now, let's talk about some of the other things that could be going on here. Um, we have the Fed going into its two-day meeting. This is a big one because it's 25 or 50 basis points, but we get the dot plot. So I think that's going to be very important. Uh, the dollar index sinking as the yen takes off again and the euro. So the dollar's getting hit on all quarters. I was looking for that to happen. And you should have done your roll from SEP to the DEES. In the energy markets, we're getting bounces right across. It opened steady, fell a little bit, and came back. And on the energies, please just understand that uh, you're just getting into the corn harvest. Uh, we have a week of fairly dry weather in a lot of the Midwest. The farmers want that. People that own lawns don't. But that gets rid of a lot of the moisture, and that'll cut some costs down for natural gas. And that event could be a little bearish for that market. Want to remind you that I did put out, as you know, last week, my gold report. So if you'd like to see this report, and I do cover it a lot, I cover this time something different. I gave you the, uh, the seasonals as to what it does now in front of you. I gave you an idea what it looks like right in front of an election, too. I wanted you to see that because that won't change. I didn't give you the price counts. I might send them out to the clients today. I talk about world events, what's coming on through there. And the key is I'm giving you a quick idea, but it's not only gold. I did gold, GLD, and GDX, so it covers all three. Go to irapstein.com. On the very top left, you'll see the gold report or move your clicker right up there, and away you go. I'm Ira. You have yourself a great day, and I will catch up with you at the end of the day with your market wrap-up. Take care.